Monday morning, March 1st, which means we need extra coffee. That's good. It's 40 days of testing the season of Lent, and we are on day number 11. Now, yesterday we looked at uh, David versus Goliath, and in that great showdown, uh, the King Saul offered David his, his armor and his sword, but David turned it down because it had not been tested. So what did David use? David used the same things that he used against the lion and the bear. He had his stick, he had his shepherd's bag, and he had a sling. That's all he had. And he went out and he defeated the giant. What a great victory and accomplishment that he had. But today we continue our story. And we're going to take a look again at David. But this time he's King David. And he's looking back on his life and he is giving God thanks. Uh, this this poem of David, this, uh, this uh, psalm of David is actually found in uh, 2 Samuel chapter 22, as well as Psalm chapter 18. But we're going to look at 2 Samuel chapter 22. Verse 1 tells us why David wrote this, this psalm. It says, And David spoke the words of this song to the Lord in the day that the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of of Saul. He said, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. And so David is going to give God thanks for delivering him in his trials, in his, against his enemies. And we know that Goliath was that huge enemy that he had, but David would face some other enemies, including King Saul. But verse 31 is amazing to me. It's also recorded in Psalm 18, verse 30, but it's 2 Samuel 22, verse 31, and here's what it says. As for God, his way is blameless. The word of the Lord is tested. He is a shield to all who take refuge in him. The King James Version says that the word of the Lord is tried. The New King James says the word of the Lord is proven. And the New Revised Standard Version says the promises of the Lord are proven true. That there is a lot of deceit out there. There is a lot of error out there. There is a lot of falsehoods out there in the world today. We face it all the time. It's in the media. It's in, it's in big tech. It's... Everywhere you look, there is lies, there's falsehoods, but the word of the Lord is tested. If you want to know the truth, it is found in the word of God. It is found in the word of the Lord. Jesus talking about the end times in Matthew chapter 24. I'm going to turn to Matthew 24. It's verse 35, and Jesus says, uh, these words, um, right, Matthew 24, 35 says, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. They are tried, they are true, they are proven, they've been tested. The words of the Lord will not pass away. Uh, in, uh, Ephesians chapter 6 the Apostle Paul is, he's instructing uh, us to take on the full armor of God. And Ephesians 6 verse 17, the last uh, two things he encourages us to take on. He says, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. The sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, it's been tried, it's been tested, it's been proven true, it'll never let you down. The Word of the Lord, the Word of God will never 
let you down. I thank you guys for watching today, and I pray that y'all have a blessed and amazing day in the Lord.